I have here on the bench a diesel fuel injection pump off of 1982 240D. This type of pump was used on the U.S. market cars from 1977 up to 1985. That was a 240D, 300D, 300CD, 300TD, and the 300SD, four and five cylinders. These are a very robust and strong pump. I think over the 25 plus years I've been working on these old diesels, I've only had to replace a couple of pumps. One of the weak points is the delivery valves, and that's something you can service yourself if you do it properly, okay? I'm gonna emphasize properly. Uh, and we've been getting a lot of emails recently. People say, well, Kent, there's a copper seal down in there, and I can't find any source for getting replacement copper seals when I remove the delivery valves. And so I went to work. We sourced uh, from a couple of suppliers. We were able to come up with the proper diameter and thickness of copper washer for the delivery valve seals on these older diesel engines. I just want to talk a little bit about changing the seals. There's a couple reasons why you might want to change a seal. First off, when you're doing a procedure to set the injection pump timing, you need to remove one of the delivery valves. Now, a lot of times you can retorque the delivery valve back down and it'll be okay, but sometimes these copper washers can get really squished and damaged and you're gonna need a replacement. The other time is you may have some rough running engine and you may need to remove these delivery valves and inspect them for adverse wear. And even on some engines, you'll find them sticking when they get all gooed up, particularly on those that have maybe been running waste vegetable oil. So what I wanna do now is show you what the delivery valve looks like and where the washer is located and how to get it out and get it back in. Now I have removed this part here for the purposes of this video, don't you ever take one of these off your injection pump. If you notice there's slotted holes here and these can be rotated and all this is calibrated for fuel delivery. So if you take one of these off, you'll never get your injection pump to run right unless you send it out to a Bosch authorized service facility to have this recalibrated. So I pull this out so you can see the components of the delivery valve. You know, you use a 15 millimeter socket to take the holder off. The holder comes off. The next thing you're gonna notice, there's a spring. And then you have the delivery valve itself, which is made up of two parts. And when these go bad, usually what happens is this gets all scored. Uh, maybe ingest some sort of foreign material or adverse wear, you get a lot of slop in it and the engine won't run right, it won't, particularly won't idle right when these delivery valves are not working properly and seating properly. Notice it seats down on the top here. I've seen a couple of these where somebody has put this in backwards. <laughs> if you're wondering why your diesel isn't running properly and you've had somebody else working on it and he said, well, I was messing around with the injection pump, just uh, beware, okay? And then right down in here, you can see the copper washer. Now, <laughs> this is the most challenging part about changing these, is these get stuck down in there and you can't get them out. So I went to work to make a special tool that I will include with these washers. I started out by getting a wire tool that was real sharp at the point here to get down in here and try to pry that out. But this proved to not have enough strength. So using a pick tool and modify it to a certain angle and a very sharp point, I can go down in here and pick away at this thing, see, and you actually have to pry it out like that, and there comes the seal. So same thing here, you know, you, you pull the delivery valve out, you get down in there, you're gonna kind of pry this out of here like that. And let me tell you, you're gonna use this little sharp point a few times where you're gonna have to actually jab this. Now look at how squished out this one is. I assume that that delivery valve has probably been out a couple of times and retorqued. You'll get a problem with a little seepage of fuel around here. You also may not be seating internally. So this is important, you know, replace these crush washers when you remove your delivery valves. Now, I'm not gonna go over all the things you can do to clean these out and everything. All I'm gonna warn you about is do not allow any little specks of dirt 
to get in your delivery valve or down here. So cleanliness is so important when you're doing these. And when you reassemble them, put some light oil on them and torque them down to 40 to 50 Newton meters. Don't over tighten them or you're going to end up squishing the copper washer. 40 to 50 Newton meters is the proper torque on these delivery valves. So if you're looking for a source of copper washers to seal these valves, we have them now at Mercedes Source. And for a limited time, we will include the special tool, <laughs> no extra charge.